The ASEAN Regional Forum came to an end in the Laotian capital last night, while South Korea has once again urged North Korea to give up its nuclear ambitions. Pyongyang has blamed the U.S., saying that its decision to carry out a fifth nuclear test will depend on Washington's attitude. Kwon Soa has the latest from the Laotian capital. The key issue for South Korea at the 23rd round of the ASEAN Regional Forum was North Korea and its nuclear and missile threats. As all 27 members make statements on their regional issues, South Korea's top diplomat Yoon Byung-se gave a strong message on the North's continuous violations when it was his turn to speak at the ARF. I explained to many colleagues before and during the meeting the severity of North Korea's nuclear issue and asked for them to make statements on the strict implementation of the UN Security Council resolution. Most ministers have actively shown cooperation on that request. North Korea's top diplomat Lee Yong-ho, for whom the ARF was the first appearance at an international event, has defended Pyongyang's nuclear development and also held a press briefing after the meeting. He explained North Korea's presence at the ARF, saying current tensions could seriously escalate, referring to the international community's response to its nuclear tests, including the unprecedented strong sanctions from the UN Security Council. Lee said everyone is doing nuclear tests, claiming he doesn't understand why only the North's nuclear ambitions are deemed as a threat. When asked by reporters about another nuclear test, he said that depends on the U.S.'s attitude. On the resumption of the stalled six-party denuclearization talks, Lee said that's disappeared into thin air, again blaming the U.S. However, officials here say the North's rhetoric in the statement was nothing new. Attention is on a joint statement to be issued by the host country Laos, but it won't be all smooth sailing as member nations have conflicting views on different matters, especially the South China Sea dispute and the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD. The statement may need days or even a week to be issued, according to officials. With the South China Sea, THAAD and the North Korea issue all diplomatically correlated, there are concerns that the results of this year's ARF may have only underscored the ongoing tensions in the region. Kwon Soa, Arirang News, Vientiane.